Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. To somebody, you don't have to be afraid. This is a warfare message to someone. The Lord is able to deliver. He said, Upon Mount Zion there shall be holiness and there shall be deliverance. And the house of Jacob shall possess that possession. God had me to tell you that he will deliver you and you will possess your possession. In the land of the living, glory to Jesus. In the land of the living, don't be afraid of this association of darkness that are gathering somewhere in the life of believers now. This is what is going on. It is a very dark agenda, very dark one. That is why I said, listen, it is a prophetic warfare word to somebody. We are in a warfare. We are in a warfare. And the warfare is real. Don't let anyone deceive you. Don't let anyone deceive you because it is a battle. It is a battlefield. You can't see the work of Christ on this earth. Can you see that it was a very strong warfare? It was a very strong battle when he walked on this earth. If you reflect on the story of Jesus from birth to all the miracles, to everything, to the grave, everything that he came to proclaim, he experienced a battle from the day he was born. From that very day. Yeah. Even there was no place for him to be given birth to. So they have to look for. You know where he was giving. A, the, the king. The Messiah. The, son coming, the one that was coming to save the world. You see where he was being given birth to. I believe it is where. If it were to be you and I. would be thinking that. Oh maybe we should get the best marshal. To give birth to the savior. Right. So that tells you that the world is a warfare where we are in. Hallelujah. And you remember how Herod gang up association of darkness. So even all the apostles, the disciples that walk with Jesus, when you look at their journey, it was full of warfare, tribulation. Is it Paul and Salah you want to talk about? Is it Stephen? Is it Peter? How many are you going to talk that did not experience association of darkness guide you? Remember the Bible say if certain Jew, 40 men, you know how for do you know the number 40? How many they are? Able men. The Bible says that they gang up together and they said to themselves, they bound themselves together under an oath, saying to themselves, they will not eat nor drink until they have killed for keep all. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. Hallelujah. And you hear people say, once saved, already saved. There is no need to fight. There is no need to teach about salvation. Be very careful. When the, when the disciples were being saved, it was not once saved, always saved. They went out there to preach holiness and they themselves, they strive to hold on to that holiness. Hallelujah. Any association of darkness that have summoned you, God have me to tell you, don't be afraid. We are in a generation where we know that something strange is going on. Something strange. Everyone that serve God, that follows God, can see, can feel it. Even if you don't hear God telling you directly to your ear, you can feel it. <laughs> that there is something strange that the world is doing against the true believers. Very strange act. Hallelujah. But the Lord is saying to us that he is our deliverer. 
he is our deliverer. Stand still, see the salvation of the Lord. The association of darkness that gather to summon your spirit unto bewitchment shall fall. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The association of darkness that gather to summon your life, they shall be judged by the fire of God. Stand still. Stand still. Hallelujah. Stand still. Glory to Jesus. The gather to summon does not mean that when they summon, they will be granted they will be granted the access to come and ruin your life. Let them gather, let them hold, let them do it, but he shall not rest upon the righteous. The Bible says the lot of the wicked shall not rest, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the righteous. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I am saying to somebody, God is saying, stand still. Stand still. The association of darkness that gathered to summon you evil last night, evil today as I speak at this moment, the pestilence, the disaster, the this and that that the Bible talks about in the book of Psalm. The Bible made it clear to us that it shall not come near us. Hallelujah. Association of darkness. They gather to summon the believers. They gather to summon our ministry. They gather to summon. You know, there was an occult, there is an occultic name I heard some time ago. I think they call it Olumba, something like that. There was a, confu a confession that came from among them. They talked about how they summon one man of God. How they summon this man of God. In their occultic kingdom to kill him. But what they saw was not what they expected. This is not like, oh, it's a story. It is an occultic guide. I don't know what they, I, I think they said the name was Olumba. I don't know, something like that. The man had to come out and confess that they summoned this man in their place of worship, in their evil place of worship. They summon his spirit, they want him dead. But as they summon his spirit, the Bible recorded as the mountain around about Jerusalem. So the angels of the Lord encamp around his people now and forever. Around, encamp around his people. Are you removing yourself? No. You are included. So the angel of the Lord encamp around you. If you get summoned, that is what they will see. They will see the angel of God. They will see the fire of the Lord. They will see the blood of Jesus. They will see the face of God. They will see the cross. You will not be there because you dwell in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. Any association of darkness that have gone ahead and beyond, you know, to summon your spiritual man unto satanic bewitchment, they shall fall. It is not a, we don't, we don't contem, uh, contaminate, is it? We don't negotiate with them like, oh, don't summon, don't do this, don't do that. Let them do it. The Bible says, let them say a thing. It will not stand. It will not stand. Because the Lord is not in us. He's not in it. Because the Lord did not approve it. Hallelujah. The Lord did not approve it. I don't know who you are. But I need you to understand. That wherever they summon your spirit unto bewitchment. The fire of the Lord shall appear. And they shall be judged by the fire of God. They shall be judged by the fire of the Lord. You see that association of darkness that gather to summon your spirit? They cannot have your spirit summoned. They cannot have your spirit captured because your spirit is in Christ Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you.
And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.